Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dominique. Something I get asked a lot on Instagram is, do you think I should major in medical lab science? Well, I tend to not answer this just because it's subjective, because there is a lot of things to consider. So in this video, I will be sharing some pros and cons to help you decide on if you should major in medical laboratory science. Okay, so if you decide to go the medical lab route for school, you'd be attending a professional-based program. The courses and internships will prepare you for a job when you finish. So since this is a highly specialized field, the first thing to consider is the role of a medical laboratory professional in healthcare, just to see if that aligns with your own career aspirations. As a whole, the medical laboratory is essential to healthcare for the detection, diagnosis, and treatment of diseases. So as a medical lab professional, the work you'd be doing would give the physician a picture of what is going on inside of the patient's body at that current time. All of this is done through analyzing patient specimens. So as you go through school, you would learn how to analyze these patient specimens through the lab tests that you'd learn. So something to ask yourself, is there anything you cannot handle? Like do bodily fluids bother you? Like blood, urine, saliva, mucus, feces, bone marrow, organ tissues, you name it, somebody in the lab is testing it. <laughs> so for some people, that might be a deal breaker on them deciding to go to medical lab school, but you have to understand that the job literally cannot be done without these specimens. Because of this, there is a risk of being exposed to pathogens or microbes from the patients. Granted, this biohazard risk is universal to all healthcare professions, so we all share this risk, but you do work specifically with specimens from patients who may have infections. And you know <laughs> after you analyze it. So you could be at risk for bloodborne pathogens or airborne pathogens if you are not taking proper precautions. Other risks include like fire hazard, electrical hazards, chemical and radiation hazards as well. Literally all sorts of things can go wrong in the lab, but again, in school you will learn the safety precautions to protect you and everyone around you. So I'm not trying to make you scared or anything or nervous, nothing like that. But if things like this bother you, then you have to at least consider before you choose this major. <laughs> the next thing is ask yourself, why? Like, why do you want to major in medical lab science? If the only reasons you are thinking about this field is because you think it's easy to get into, you think you'll make a ton of money, or because you want recognition, I can tell you now, you're gonna be a little disappointed. <laughs> um, I guess unless you're pre-med, then this is actually a really good step into medicine. Um, but I mean, this career doesn't make the worst money. It makes decent pay. And most people don't even know what happens in a med lab as far as recognition goes. So when you ask yourself why, Consider that you will be trained to deal with patients' lives and the work you'd be doing in the lab has a big impact on patient care. And that is whether people know it or not, <laughs> or whether people know what we do or not. So do some research and understand what you're getting yourself into. Now let's talk more about school and training programs. So you are looking at spending roughly one to three years in school training to become a medical lab professional. This all depends on your chosen career path and the route you're taking to get there. But the amount of work you have to put in for a medical lab major is real. <laughs> and it is a true commitment. So ask yourself, do you enjoy studying science? And can you get a good grasp on concepts in anatomy and physiology, like in biology or chemistry? Because in med lab school, we go in depth. You will take courses in microbiology, immunology, hematology, immunohematology, and your analysis, just to name a few. And through this, you'll learn a lot of different disease states to correlate to the lab testing. So it's actually really nice if you like to know why things happen in the body and what causes certain diseases to occur. Um, but other things to ask yourself is, do you enjoy solving problems? Are you self-motivated? Do you like taking bits of random pieces of information and combining it all together to find an answer? I know it's vaguely said, but these are a few characteristics that could be beneficial to your experience and success in school, as well as the actual job. So like I said, this major prepares you for a job. <laughs> Let's consider the environment that you'd be working in once you finish school. So it's pretty self-explanatory that you'd be working in a medical laboratory, but there's different types. Um, you could work in a hospital lab, in a reference lab, a research lab, physician office labs, veterinary labs, and then like state or federal agency labs, which each type has its pros and cons, but you know, you have a choice to figure out what kind of lab is best for you. So depending upon the type of person you are, you may be a better fit for like a big trauma hospital or like a teaching hospital versus a rural hospital or something like that. So in general, you can probably expect to work various shifts on days, evenings, or nights to possibly include weekends and holidays. And shifts can be like 
eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, depending on the facility. So keep in mind that this is healthcare, which has to run 24 seven to accommodate patients. So shifts run all day long. Um, but actually a benefit to healthcare is that you get to leave work at work, I guess, unless you're on call or something, but for the most part, you don't have to bring any of it home because you know, we're dealing with patients. So HIPAA is one thing, but we also need certain things like instruments and reagents that are only in the lab. <laughs> so that might be a benefit for you. Generally, the work is done in a controlled environment so that we can result out accurate values to the care providers. So good skills to have are being organized and detail oriented in the sense that you are making sure procedures are done correctly every time. And also that your documentation is done correctly every time. Because the goal is to make sure that we are able to figure out how to eliminate factors or mistakes that can impact the quality of these results. Definitely consider if you are able to work efficiently and effectively while on your own, especially in like high stress situations. <sighs> so yeah, these were just random things I could come up with to help you decide on pursuing a degree in medical laboratory science clinical laboratory science, medical technology, clinical laboratory technology, medical laboratory technology, whatever the heck your program is called. So my final thought to answer the question, um, definitely go for this major if you enjoy learning this field of study. I personally believe that people do best in classes that they enjoy learning about. But, you know, take all that I said into consideration and also talk to some professionals if you know anyone. Because I wish somebody could have given me some considerations before I took on this major. Not that I would have changed my mind or anything, but there is a lot to prepare for if you are not ready. So if you went through this video and by the end found yourself borderline on making a decision, just do more research on the field because it may not be what you're expecting nor what you're looking for out of a career. Also, explore other career options or even try to shadow in the laboratory before you decide on applying to a training program. That way, you are able to see firsthand what it's like to work within a lab, and you'll also have somebody there that you can talk to, and they may give you like their pros and cons of the field based on their own experience. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to get the discussion going for those of you who are considering medical laboratory school. So for anybody that is working in a lab or is currently a med lab student, please comment below anything that you feel like is a pro or con of choosing this career based on your experience. Comment things that I may have left out as well <laughs> that would be important before considering this major. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to keep up with my journey in medical laboratory school.